baby. Hello Doodlebugs, it's Mary. It's your art this month. It's a video where we feature some of your artwork based on a group challenge and theme. I'm gonna go over some comments and questions and goals and we're just gonna let our tiny pumpkins hang out. On to business. Real quick, I also want to give a big shout out to everybody who came out to the Getty Villa last week. We had an amazing time with Making Monsters with Mary Doodles. It has my name in it, which means it was a fun event. I saw a bunch of doodle bugs there. I got to see Will Terrell and Amber Terrell, two amazing artists you may know about. It was a blast. It was super fun and I'm hoping to be doing more of these live events. And Thongmaster, I'm so sorry your motorcycle gang couldn't make it out. On to the comments from last month's week's video. Okay, I know I took a bit of a longer hiatus. No, I wasn't arrested doing illegal drawings. No, I hadn't died. But if you did think I died, Elena Jones, I would love to hear that eulogy. Feel free to comment that eulogy right all up under this video. Tiny pumpkin. Critiv is really curious to know what's in my poop drawer. That's none of your business. That's only my business. My business and my business alone is done in that drawer. It's my duty. Question from Rosary Universe. Hey, I love your videos. Question, how many cats do you have? Also, what is your favorite kind of plant? Paints to paint with. What brand? I don't paint with plants, but I want to paint with plants. I was hoping that was a question about my plants. Plant update. Uh, this one looks alive. Plant update. This plant is alive. How many cats do I have? Zero. I grew up with up to four cats and they were all beautiful butterflies. I love cats. I miss having cats. I can't have cats because there's a handsome cat over there who can't handle cats. This is Dante, also known as Give Me Motion. He makes music and can't be around cats. Can you, Dante? No, I can't. Why is that? Because it makes my eyes swell up and close and I can't breathe. Well, you know what? You just need to try harder. I don't think that's how allergies work. I don't think that's how you sound, Dante. Okay, I don't appreciate that. I do appreciate your t-shirt though. I'm wearing your swag right now. I miss you. Where are you? Well, I'm trapped in this image, of course. As far as paints, uh, I love well, all watercolors. What brands do I have here right now? Winsor & Newton is a really good, affordable go-to brand where you can get the lower end or higher end. Senle is a, another good brand. I have a video on this. I have made a video on watercolor basics. I'll link to it in the description and on the screen right now. You can watch that video uh, and uh, get some tips on watercolors as well as the kinds of watercolors I like to paint with. <gasps> hey, did I talk about my goal for the month? Let's talk about goals. So my goal for last month, it was really just a week, was to do more projects for fun. I rediscovered what it's like to draw and paint like nobody's watching or ever will watch. And there are some things you may never see, partially because I know you watch this with your family. Ultimately, it's very refreshing to just do something not for the sake of showcasing it, to just do it for the sake of doing it. That's art, darn it. So while I was doing some fun drawing for no reason other than to have fun, I kind of stumbled upon what it's like to make emotional art again, <laughs> like something that is leading from a feeling, a thought. So for November, my personal goal is to focus in on creating emotional-based images, whatever that means. I think I'm gonna try and begin by expressing a genuine thing through art. Gross. All right, get in here, tiny pumpkin. We're gonna go over your art this month, not yours. You have no hands. You are of no use to the art community except for your brutal, but honest critiques, tiny pumpkin. So for the month, uh, the week of October, the theme was dark and twisty. This first one is by Arts by Allie. I love a good cephalopod. What can I say? You know me, Allie. You were playing to your audience of me and um, you had me at glowy octopus. The lighting on this one is lovely. I love that glowy, glowy glow effect. Marinia.blog made this 
beautiful piece. It's so soft and I, this style is so beautiful. I love the look of her. I want, I want her outfit. Her hair is pretty. Ugh, I'm jealous of her. She doesn't exist. Beatrice Dupo, <laughs> I love it. I love the eyeballs. I love the washiness of it. I love her face. I love the hands. This is one of those pieces that you look at and then you start getting a little mad because you didn't think of it yourself. Beatrice. Neon Felix. I feel like this is an album cover. Dante, it's an album cover. I love this so much and I don't know why. I think it's boldly weird and god bless you the hands the hands it feels so uh, e-m-i-b also pronounced emib made a crisp clear glorious witchy design those lines are so bold and they're so connected mm. flowiness also another inktober piece you may notice a lot of these are hashtag inktober inktober it's a october thing where you just paint with inks, pens, whatever's, all through October. Rage Master made this illustration. Uh, I would assume that character's name is also Rage Master. Thigh Master, Stair Master, so Master of Kettlebells. Someone who wakes up at 5 a.m., jogs. Damn masks. Good lord. This is a nice piece. How, wait, why are there only 10 likes right now? This totally metal piece of a nightmare was made from Night Owl at Flight, who also has a very metal handle. Ah, the shading, the layers is very nicely done. I'm getting lost in just seeing where everything is going and when everything is coming from. Dark and twisty. The theme was dark and twisty, and you dark and twisty that. Ew. <laughs> I got lost in that one. Succulent, suck, 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 My mouth doesn't want to say your handle. Um, speaking of nightmares, so creepy. The cut thing on the cheek of branches out. And in the comments, there's this fantastic quote, finished, not perfect. And I love how you leaned into that, how it's definitely polished in certain areas of the image, and then it kind of falls off where it doesn't need to be detailed and polished. I consider that to be a style. Some people would say it's unfinished. I, I consider that a style. And it's a beautiful style. And finally, Brett Allen Art, an amazing Halloween piece. It's a pumpkin man. He's got a business suit. I like those colors. He looks really cute. Those colors are amazing and the background is sweet. And I love how everything looks clean and neat. Good work. And that was your art this month. If you'd like to see more images that people made, check out the hashtag YATM. There's a bunch of them out there. I couldn't feature them all because that would make the universe implode and I just saved your lives by not doing that. So for this upcoming month of November, I scrolled through the comments to get an idea uh, if there's any suggestions of themes and um, I guess the theme is, we're gonna go with Back From The Dead. The holidays aren't here yet, we can still be creepy. The theme is Back From The Dead. Our deadline will be November 27th. If you wanna share what you make, post it to Instagram or Twitter, hashtag it YATM. Tag me at Mary Doodles in it. <laughs> Maybe I'll feature your work. <laughs> I'm really tired. <laughs> If you like this video or want to add a comment, you can impact the universe by hitting a like button and commenting in the comment section below. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, I make weekly art videos. I, I do, hey, okay, we get it. I disappeared for a while. Every YouTuber does it. It's not weird. And you can follow me on all the social medias at Mary Doodles. I'm doing daily doodles on Instagram. You can check that out if you need art every day to stay alive. I'm doing videos on Facebook now. They do. Facebook has videos and I'm trying to infiltrate your opinions. So you can go watch my Facebook videos there. And above all, you can remain awesome. Doodlebugs, thank you for watching. Thank you, Tiny Pumpkin, for being here with me, seeing me through this video. Thank you, Dante on the wall. Thank you for just watching over us and wherever you are, I hope you're happy.